Came up from the bottom, better move a caution When I bring the staff on a form, I'm a slay When I pull up, get thunderclap, my slayers run it back Make sure these demons remember the name I do them dirty like EU when I'm dead calm Till I get hot, but I see through all your dead plots I'm in the guys that need to cut your head off Pull up with your demons, I'm making sure they next Alright, so we have Bond Clay as the showcase unit for today I'm actually enjoying making videos every day, um, these daily uploads uh, Anyways, uh, Bond Clay is a pretty good runner uh, on his own I wouldn't say he's top top here, but he's pretty solid and honestly, I put him in the category of underused and underutilized. Uh, he can be really really nice. Re his cap speed, I'm pretty sure it's one of the highest cap speed uh, in the game once it's stacked up. Uh, you stack it up by hitting with your skill too, I believe. Uh, so yeah, I'm not too sure why people don't use him. Maybe because he's a cola unit and it's hard to get cola units. Uh, but anyways, so skill 1 is Memoir of the Summer Day. You have uh, it's just a constant move you have 50% chance to stun uh, you just keep spinning and spinning uh, and they can't really get out of it often and at the end you have a knockback ability uh, which is pretty nice go down 39 seconds so just overall a pretty nice skill and then you have weight just a French word here um, it's just a jump you jump at your enemy and you knock him back 728 skill damage pretty nice skill uh, 35 second cooldown so not too bad the skills are pretty nice when your strength is more than 30%, you appear as a member of the enemy team on their mini-map, unavailable for the first 150 seconds of the map. So 30 seconds left, uh, you'll be on the enemy's map, you'll show up as their allies. So that's just a watered down version of Kyoshua's ability. Uh, but when you're KO'd by enemies, you boost your ally speed by 30%. Uh, when your strength is more than 70%, you boost cap speed by 40%. And when you're using skill 2, increase cap speed by 10% up to a max of... 30%. So you can get a 70% cap speed if you uh, max out your your cap speed using skill 2. So when you're attacking an enemy, 100% chance to recover HP by 3% and reduce the cooldown time of skill 2. Uh, I just skipped past <laughs> recording me was not uh, thinking properly. Shout out to Mr. Captain Yua uh, as my support and 160%. Uh, shout out to recording me uh, for not giving me enough time to read out the trades. <laughs> Um, but we're gonna get into this. The last trait wasn't too impactful anyway, but yeah. So, anyways, game one, we're on Saba Ogi. I mentioned this before, this is my favorite map to play as a runner. Because you can just be a rat, run around Capified, uh, be a pest to the enemy team, and generally just annoy defenders. Because once you, if you can lure if you can lure them down to the bottom platform, you're pretty much free to take the top one because they, they're really slow and they can't get back up. Uh, but anyways, this first <laughs> this first fight I have. It, it's got to be one of the mo most annoying fights in history. And you guys will probably get annoyed on my behalf just for, from watching it. But yeah, you guys will probably experience it yourself. So of course he tries to snipe me. Uh, misses. That skill is so wonky still. I'm sorry. I, I never know if it's going to hit me. I can completely dodge it and it'll just hit me anyway. Uh, but anyways, starting off pretty well. No damage taken. Bam. We both knock each other back. But I do more damage, of course, because I'm blue. Uh... I don't know how that was in a perfect dodge, but now I'm just chilling. Thought my skill, skill one. Oh man, the meat just had to spawn there for him, and I can't hit him with this. It's not, it's just not hitting him. Now it is. My goodness, I got the knock back off. Uh, but of course, still haven't even gotten through one of his lives. Managed to knock him back before that stupid stun hits me. Thankfully, uh, I don't think that was his first life either, and then he heals out as well. Oh my goodness, man, at least up. Ah, where isn't a kind of when you need him to incinerate Usopp's? Finally, I think that's his second life. Nope, that was his second life. Finally, on his last life. And he knows it, so he's just running away. Corner him down. And there we go. Finally. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my goodness, just die. So annoying. But just wasted half of the game literally a minute left basically a minute left spent like over a minute and a half fighting god usa like oh my goodness i don't know where this crap came from he just flew over uh but anyways looking like a nice 5-0 but unfortunately the akainu up there dies 
uh, before me and Croc can get there to back him up, so we couldn't get the 5-0. Uh, but I'm playing the save. This Croc is just like, nah, I'm getting this flag. Unfortunately, Gatling. Oh my goodness, so annoying. What an annoying skill. Managed to dodge out of it, though. Um, knock him out of his uh, skill 2. Skill 1, my bad. But he kills me, because uh, it's only Luffy and he's on team boost. And only Luffy's a stupid, def stupid good defender anyway. Uh, at this point, do I come... Yeah, I come back to Dofi here, because we're losing all the flags on the map right now. We're losing every single map, uh, flag because of that one team boost they got. They made they utilized that team boost pretty damn well. Um, so yeah, I have to come back to Dofi, try to make something happen. Unfortunately, I'm getting destroyed. I'm getting destroyed. Look at the damage I did to Roger though. So, such a nice unit. What is this lag? But anyways, thankfully, we managed to clutch up, I believe. The Odin clutches up. I also clutch up on my part. This Luchi is about to cap this flag. Boom. Not even. Not a chance, buddy. Not a chance. I did, I did not just say what not a chance, buddy, did I? But anyways, of course, Kids gets the MVP. And. Yeah, second place, two caps, one kill. And we move on to game two on Dress Rosa. Almost forgot the name of the map. Uh, but yeah, two Akainas and a Snake Man and a Katakuri. You guys already saw in the intro, I kind of play around with the Katakuri a lot. Um, he messes, he gets messed up. <laughs> he gets messed up. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, the two Akainas are going to be an issue. As they are for any unit, except uh, Frankie, I guess. Even Dofi will probably struggle against two Akainas. Uh, bombarding his shield and stuff. But this, this part is just funny to me. This is definitely the highlight of my gameplays. Of my time playing Bon Clay. Like, is this is this funny to see them not be able to do anything? And then, and then he gets hit by the fish out here. Oh man, this is funny. Katakuri and Mihawk. Those two are like always put together like peas in a pod. Like, you, you can't see Mihawk on a tier list and not have Cat Curry, like, right behind him. They're just really close to each other. But anyways, I think I kill him here. Right? No, he knocks me down with that skill. That skill's annoying. I'm not. Of course, Roger. I think that's the category. Yeah, that's the category. Like, he comes back as Roger, so he tries to chase me down because he's mad. He mad. I would be mad, too. Oh my goodness, Team Boost 2. I'm just watching out for the Commissary because like, it's so hard to predict that skill considering how it moves faster than the Flash or some shit. Ah, uh, Sugar, of course. This guy is still after me. Like, he's still after me. He wants me dead. He wants revenge. Thank you. You stop coming in clutch. I think I make a mistake here. Yeah, I make a mistake here. Instead of going back, I hold this. I mean, I guess it was smart. I, mean, I held off two. Yeah, I held off the category and the Mihawk. Um, my teammates just didn't capitalize on it. I one of them sh should have gone. Two of them should have gone for the side flags. Uh, while I was holding off two defenders over here. Yeah, they should have gone for the other side flag too. I'm not sure what they're doing. Oh, well, we have no defenders. Oh, I just noticed. That makes more sense um, as to why we couldn't hold it down. Unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, I have to come back because Dofi here. 30 seconds left and it's looking terrible once again. I hope I underestimated or maybe maybe I did the right thing here. I, d I didn't think I was going to hit uh, with Dofi's skill from a, a little further away. So uh, they ended up getting the mid flag. And I think that's where we lose. Trigger goes for the other flag as well. Smart player. And yeah. Of course I'm not gonna pop your counter, buddy. What are you like? Yeah. Man, that's so man. Yeah, well, we lost that game. But I was playing around with the category, so I kept this game in the video. And we ended up at second place, three caps and two kills, but Big Shack coming in first place. So final game. Back on Sabaody, Sabaody Day, um, Frankie, gonna be a really, really big issue, of course, number one defender, <laughs> yeah, that's my number one defender right there, uh, I'm in between a Roger and a Frankie, so there's no point, Frankie's the less of two evils, 
Uh, but I'm not winning a fight against him anyway since he kind of stunned. Can't be knocked back off his treasure. Um, yeah. Thankfully, Roger goes back up. We're trying to bait this Frankie down, but like he doesn't want to come down. He's he, he's just holding that flag up there. I mean, props. I mean, that's not even props to him. Like, what are you doing? Come down and grab the treasure so I can get your flag. Uh, he's just standing here. He, he doesn't want to leave the home flag. Not for anything. Knock him back and just run away. Yeah, I, look how little damage I did. Frankie's so good, man. I just did a gameplay of him recently anyway. So I can't make another one too anytime soon. Uh, otherwise, it'll get too repetitive. But there will be more Frankie gameplays on the channel. Just, this man just, this, his cool factor is through the roof. But anyways, he, he goes, he tries to cap the stuff. And he actually gets it. He actually gets it because, um, Pretty sure you have to use all three basics to knock him off, just like Snake Man, which is unfortunate for me. But we still we still have control over the maps, over the flags. Oh crap! I'm getting my words messed up. It's uh it's 9 p.m. right now, so uh, excuse me. It is a Saturday night, so I, I mean a Friday night, so I didn't plan to sleep in. Ugh, thank goodness. But anyways, I'm on live support. I'm just running back and forth, um, trying to trying to cap as many flags as I can. That's how you play Sabaody as a runner. Uh, no need to confront anyone. No need to get into any fights. No need to, no need to get into any fights unless you're defending um, a treasure. Other than that, speed around the map, grab the flags. And honestly, Arobi Arobi owns this map. She's she's probably the most annoying unit to fight on this map with her two second cap speed. But other than that. That'll be Odin, yeah, Odin. Odin too. Odin and Nairobi, definitely the most annoying flag. And maybe Golden Week's up there as well. But her cap speed isn't as fast. It's just her invincibility. I'm trying to hold this mid flag as best as I can because I feel like we're going to lose it if I don't ignore that. I did not just abuse the dodge glitch. <clears throat> that was um, that was a trick of the life. Nothing happened there. I'm targeting the wrong person here, which is really annoying. Like, I wanted to hit the Roger off the flag. But, yeah, unfortunate. I think we end up winning this, though. Yeah, we, have, we end up winning it. We hold the flags down. Sugar, climbing in clutch, holding down two flags by herself. Uh, so I give the like to her. And, yeah, that's the end of this video. Bonkley, a very solid runner, pretty good runner. Uh, and, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.